Hey there. So if you're using generate blocks and you're trying to control the order in which your containers are stacking in a two column grid on mobile, I'm going to show you exactly how you can control that responsibly for a better layout. Okay. So this is a traditional layout you've seen probably thousands of times on a website. Um, simple alternating two column designs, right? So you have text and a button on the left and image on the right and then followed by that same exact thing but switched image on the left text and button on the right um, now if we go into the customizer and see how this stacks on mobile um, traditionally you know as stacking orders from left to right um, so if we see how this is text image image text uh, when we jump down to the mobile version you're going to see text, image, image, text. Uh, personally, I don't like that type of experience on mobile. I want it to be more consistent um, in terms of what comes first, text, then image. And so I'm gonna show you real quick in Generate Blocks how you can control this so that this second uh, section, you can twitch the image and the text to be alternating orders just for mobile. All right, so let's jump back into our page and go ahead and open the page in the editor. I'm going to open my sidebar here so you can see where we're working with. So we have our first container and our second container. And the second one is the one that we wanna switch the two individual two containers on mobile. So let's open it up, open our inner container and open our grid. So. This first container is the one we want to appear second on mobile. Um, so what we're gonna do is click that first container, come on the right hand side and come down under flex child. Uh, under here you're gonna see order. This is exactly where you can dictate what order you want this to show. Um, but before we do that, we need to switch to mobile. So click the mobile icon and we'll come on down and again, come under Flex Child, under Order, and click Two. Um, now you can kind of play with this if you put one and then zero. Uh, as long as this number is greater than the other column uh, prior to it, it's going to show it, you know, in order of greater numbers. So um, this one is number two, and then of course this one isn't necessary to put in order because it's already alternating for us since this one doesn't have anything. Um, but if you wanted, you could put one um, just for the sake of, of you know, numbering. Um, so we can go ahead and hit update. Now come back to our page and hit refresh. And come to mobile and we'll see text button image, text button image. So that's automatically um, alternating the order exactly how we want it to act on uh, responsibly only on mobile. So if we jump over to um, tablet, they aren't stacking quite yet just because of this width and how I have this design set up. And then back to desktop, it's still a uh, remaining image on the left, text on the right. All right, so that's really all there is to it. Uh, even if you're using flex uh, containers, the setting will be exactly the same. Um, so this really allows us to be able to set up layouts that we want to look on desktop and still have over control over how they work responsibly. We'll see you next time.